hygiene. Hello, dear friends. I hope you are fine. Today, we are going to start a new lesson under the title of Hygiene. We are going to study new passages as well as some useful grammatical rules. In this episode, we are going to talk about 1. Clean water Fresh hopes A special report by Peter Hudson 2. Grammar in context Past perfect 3. Water for life Dear friends, we are going to read the passage about water. Try to guess the meaning of the following words. Essential Charity Wealth Pumps Hygiene Clean water Fresh hopes Clean water is essential for healthy living But millions of people around the world Don't have water for their basic needs Water Aid is a charity that helps people all over the world get safe, clean water, dig wells, install pumps, and learn about hygiene. Before I visited the village of Kasoso in Olanda, I had only seen life in the big African cities. In villages, the biggest problem is water. In Kasoso, I met Mukasa and his family. They showed me how water aid had changed their lives. The charity had helped the community to dig a well, and now they had a supply of drinking water. Mukasa said, Rainfall is very low here, so having a well is important. His 14-year-old daughter is called Almazi. Her name means water. She was carrying two buckets of water. She had got it from the well. Because the well is only 300 meters from her home, she now has time to collect the water with her brothers and sisters and attend school too. I talked to Mokasa's nine-year-old son, Akello, outside the village school after he had finished a lesson on hygiene. He was very enthusiastic. He said, It is very important to use soap and wash your hands. I also met Mokasa's wife, Nembe. She was emptying a pocket of water on the vegetables in the garden. She had just cleaned the house. Mukasa explained that before the well, the villagers had suffered from various diseases, including cholera. Now, they had clean water for cooking, washing, and cleaning. Their lives were completely transformed. Comprehension questions True or false? One, poor people pay water aid so they can get clean water. False. Two, water aid only helps people in Africa. False. 
three, the new well isn't far from Mikasa's home. True. Four, Almazi doesn't have time to go to school. False. Five, Nemba would like to have clean water for her basic needs. True. Six, the well has made the villagers healthier. True. Find words in the text that mean the following. One, a container with a handle for holding water. Bucket. Two, a deep hole in the ground from which you can take water or oil. Well. Three, the quantity of rain that falls. Rainfall. Four, a machine for moving liquid or gas. Pump. Grammar in context. Past perfect. Before we start talking and explaining the past perfect tense, we are going to have a small idea about the way to form the past participle of any verb in English. The past participle of verbs in English is divided into two parts. One, when the verb is a regular one. Here, we have to add ed to the verb. For example, play played two when the verb is an irregular one here we have to memorize the verbs from the irregular verbs list for example speak spoken cut cut now let's start dealing with the past perfect tense dear friends form Subject plus had plus past participle plus complement. Examples You had studied English before you moved to New York. I had lost my wallet. Use Completed action before something in the past. The past perfect expresses the idea that something occurred before another action in the past. It can also show that something happened before a specific time in the past. Examples I had never seen such a beautiful beach before I went to Kauai. I didn't have any money because I had lost my wallet. Tony knew Istanbul so well because he had visited the city several times. Had Susan ever studied Thai before she moved to Thailand? She only understood the movie because she had read the book. Christine had never been to an opera before last night. By this, dear friends, we come to the end of this episode. We hope that everything was clear. See you. Take care.